you're watching this video, likely you've paid attention to Google I.O. and the fact that they've rolled out a lot of new hardware. And one of those pieces of hardware is right here in this box. It is the Pixel 7a, Google's new, more affordable take on the Pixel phone for 2023. And we've got a cool little box here from Google and uh, we wanna get in it. Now, if I'm being completely honest here, I wish this box had something else in it. I wish I had the Pixel Fold, but as you know, by this point now, uh, the Pixel Fold doesn't do out until late June. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a review unit of that one as well and be able to get some hands-on time with it because it is super compelling, but so is this phone uh, for some different reasons. We'll get into those here in just a second. Uh, but Google sent over this fun box here with all this like confetti stuff in there. And there's a little note. Uh, thank you for agreeing to review. So excited for you to experience our most advanced A-series device yet, which that is absolutely true. If any questions or concerns, reach out. But nice little card. This is a nice touch, yeah, regardless of uh, what you think about review units and all that kind of stuff. It's cool for them to come in a package like this uh, for these instances, just because it's a, it's a different touch. I mean, it just adds a little bit more to the unboxing experience. But remove that guy out of the way for now. And as I requested, which is awesome. Sometimes we request the colors and we don't get them or we get one color of the phone and then we get a different color of the case. And it's like, man, well, it is what it is. Uh, luckily I got this new sweet blue color of both of these, which I'm really excited about. And I think these are these are really nice colorways. Um, so we'll get in the, actually let's, let's pull the case out of the box first. Um, normally there's a fun little tab up here, but not the case this time around, just pretty simple and straightforward. And if this is like cases we've had from Google in the past, um, it's gonna be kind of just a soft touch, like silicon kind of thing, but firm in certain places, soft and yeah, this this feels a lot like what we had with the, the Pixel 7 and the 7 Pro. Um, yeah, it's kind of squishy, a little bit on the sides, but overall pretty rigid and firm. Uh, really cool color though, I really like this. Uh, this is nice. And Google does a great job, I think, with just keeping the colors kind of fresh. Uh, with their phones, but out of curiosity, before I even get into the 7a, I've got the Pixel 7 right here. Now the 7a is 6.1 inches. I think the 7 is 6.3 or something like that. It's pretty darn close. That won't quite fit in there, but man, it's really close. Uh, I, I, we're going to talk a lot about the fact that uh, this phone, the 7a and the 7, it's very strange that they will coexist, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, but anyway, that's the case. Now let's get into this phone. Um, we have the, uh, it's it's 5G, obviously. Um, it's eight gigs of RAM in the Pixel 7a. It gets 128 gigs of storage, which again, all those stats probably sound familiar because they're the same stats that you get with the Pixel 7. It is a 90 Hertz refresh screen, a 4,300 milliamp hour battery, Tensor Gen 2. Um, so, ooh, that color. Ooh, I hope the camera's picking that up. Man, that is fun. Um, it, again, I, I just, Google does such a great job sometimes with their color schemes. I, I love this. Um, this is really cool. I'm not sure yet on the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this out. Uh, the camera hump is way smaller, but it's a 64 megapixel main camera shooter, which is, again, pretty interesting here. Uh, but two camera setup, obviously, uh, much smaller, um, camera hump. I mean, look at the size difference there. Uh, hopefully that's picking up a little bit, but yeah, the, the, it's just super pronounced obviously on the seven. And you know, at the end of the day, I, I don't mind the camera, like the, the bar across the top. I think it's, it's a signature pixel thing. It looks cool. Um, uh, but you know, it's, it's super raised on the sevens, uh, obviously to make room for some of the camera hardware. Um, the seven, a obviously does not have that much of a raise there. So that it, it does look a little sleeker. And from what I can tell, just handling it, I'm pretty sure those are aluminum rails and an aluminum bar across the top. And I think it's glass too. So I mean like the, I don't know, it's super strange to me just that this phone and the seven exists. They're so very similar, uh, in so many ways. And at 499, that's what this phone will start at. Uh, the pricing is even pretty close. So 599 is what gets you the Pixel 7, but why would you get the Pixel 7 with the Pixel 7a now being available? Um, last year, you know, it was a 60 hertz screen that kind of was like, okay, there's your differentiator. It was six gigs of RAM. It's not this year, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, you know, a 90 hertz screen, 
a nice build. It's got uh, Qi wireless charging uh, on here as well. Uh, I, yeah, I just, I, I'm not really completely sure um, what would cause you to go and spend the extra hundred bucks to get the seven at this point. Um, but I haven't used it at all. So I can't really say that. I don't, it doesn't seem like it's coming on. So we may have to plug this guy in for a second. Nope. Nope. There it comes. Okay. Uh, what else is in the box here? Pretty standard fare. You've got your, uh, A to C, uh, cable. That's going to help with uh, data transfer and all that kind of stuff. We've got a SIM tool here in the back, some paperwork, and that is it. Um, that's just the way things are. And again, we've got a $50 price bump uh, from last year for the A-Series phone. So that'll factor in too. You know, as I as I start messing with this phone a little bit, I've, I've already decided I'm going to go ahead and move my SIM over to uh, this phone and use it for a little bit because it's the first seven, a, or the first A-Series, I'm sorry, phone that from Google that I'm actually considering like, oh, I, you know, I, if, if I needed to, I could use this phone. Like this could be my phone. Uh, the, the 60 Hertz refresh was always a little bit of a turnoff to me from the previous phones. Uh, some of the build quality stuff hasn't really been that big of a deal. Like the 3A was uh, completely plastic and, and it didn't bother me that much. Uh, but most of that stuff's gone. We're, we're parity level here with the, the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. We've got plenty of RAM, storage. You know, the camera hardware, 64 gig main shooter or 64 megapixel main shooter is, is probably going to be pretty impressive. And at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't even matter what the specs are on Google cameras anymore because what they do is all software based. So it's all their algorithms and they're figuring out, hey, here's the data we have. Here's how to make it look pretty sweet. And that's why you see these, the, the, the past A series phones doing so well with photography because nobody can go back and remember exactly what the megapixel count was. And Google stuck with that 12.2 megapixel sensor forever. And it, they were still some of the best cameras you could buy. And so it, it doesn't even matter what's in this thing. If I'm being perfectly frank, it's going to look awesome. The photos are going to be great. How's the video going to do? Not sure yet, but some of those things obviously I'll figure out as I use this phone, because what I want to do is use this phone long enough to do kind of a review, an actual review on it. We don't do a lot of phone reviews, but I'd like to review this one because I think it's going to be important. Um, and then use the kind of the, the move uh, back over to a pixel phone to then kind of prep me for uh, the eventual move and about a month and a half, hopefully to the pixel fold. But, uh, yeah, uh, let me get logged into this thing real quick, at least so I can see the screen moving around a little bit and get off of the, you know, the setup screen here. Uh, and then we will check back in. So this feels a little bit like a Chromebook unboxing, you know, as part of this setup, like getting through the main stuff, I get, uh, to use the phone enough to kind of draw a few conclusions. One, uh, the display on this looks really nice. Um, you can kind of see it up next to the Pixel 7 here. And, you know, when I when I see these things side by side, the, the 7 does have smaller bezels uh, and the screen is ever so slightly larger, but it's very, very minimal. So it's not going to be a thing when you don't have them side by side that you probably would be able to notice much. Um, the 90 hertz looks great. Uh, you're not going to be able to see that on camera, but... You know, the like scrolling animations and stuff are nice and smooth. Um, so that's not a problem. Interestingly enough, it was turned off. So it's called smooth display on Pixel. That was turned off out of the box. Don't know if that's a battery saving measure or what exactly Google's after with that. Uh, but yeah, that was turned off uh, to begin with. And uh, I was worried a little bit, you know, Google's done a good job over the years uh, about haptic feedback being good on all pixels. So when you, you know, poke on the screen and feel like the keyboard have that real tight vibration underneath your hands, uh, that is fantastic on here. The, the haptics feel awesome. Um, so I also want to um, pull up a, um, a, a YouTube video real fast. I'm just going to grab one of ours and I want to hear just what these speakers sound like because the, the seven and the seven pro have pretty solid speakers on them. Again, they're not the best speakers I've ever heard in any phone ever, but they're, they're nice and solid. So let's pull these just one of our videos up here. And of course I'm not logged into my account. So I got to wait for this ad to play. <laughs> Even with that ad, just a little bit of that ad playing. I can tell you, I, I think these are going to be pretty good. Uh, two seconds left some time now, but that doesn't really mean that the experience has been what most pretty good. people I, want. In a, a little bit of low end missing. Up to this um, point. Now artists aside, what most people are after is the ability to take, but a pretty good, notes or uh, pretty good schedule. separate separation uh, of the sound between the two speakers like what we see that's what I wanted I want to hear our her intro track here let's see what we got changing in the near future and I have a very good reason I'd like to share with you as to why I think that 
pretty good. Um, not going to be a, something like a selling point, I don't think. It's not going to be like, oh man, you've got to go get this phone for these speakers. But it's also not a tripping or a stumbling block for this phone by any means. Those sound really nice. So your haptics are nice. Screen's got a great refresh rate. Um, you know, obviously we need to test the camera, um, you know, when it comes to actually comparing it to other Pixel phones. But I just have zero doubt Google's going to ship a phone that can't do all the tricks. It's got the same processor inside. It's got the same GPU inside as the 7 and 7 Pro. There's no reason whatsoever uh, that this phone won't be able to take fantastic photos. But I'm just going to point it at that and take a picture. You know, and just like I'd expect, I'll zoom in there a little bit. It doesn't matter what the lighting is. Pixels just take fantastic photos at the end of the day. I mean... The, the contrast looks awesome. The detail is spot on. Uh, so I, I just really believe that the camera is going to be uh, pretty great on this as well. So you got great camera, great speakers, plenty of performance under the hood. We know Tensor G2 is plenty fast for games and all that kind of stuff. Plenty of RAM, a 90 hertz screen. I mean, like, what's not to like here? But at the end of the day, I need to spend some time with this. And with phones, a lot of times we kind of unbox them and move on. Uh, that's not going to be the case. I'm going to put my SIM in this one, uh, start prepping myself, getting back into the Pixel ecosystem to prepare myself for the eventual arrival of the Pixel Fold, which I'm super, super excited for. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm happy to kind of be uh, treading back into the waters of Pixel. I, you know, I went and did the Samsung thing for a little bit, mainly because I just wanted to prove to myself that uh, other Android experiences work now with Chromebooks and, and Google's other pieces of hardware without getting locked in. I just I don't like ecosystem lock in. It's one of the reasons I like Google services because they just work across all sorts of stuff. Uh, and, and I felt like I was getting locked in with Pixel for a little bit. Like if I don't have a, if I'm going to have a phone, it's got to be a Pixel. And it's kind of like, well, let's see what Google gives us this year. And I don't like that. I don't like picking a phone because it's I feel like it's my only option. And I don't feel like that anymore. And I feel the, the want to go back to a Pixel because Google just does it better, I feel like, than, than most other phones. And I think this is going to be a shining example. It's probably going to be uh, 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 on sale a lot at carriers, uh, which is my guess is how this is going to work. The Pixel 7 might stop being made. I, I don't know how these two phones coexist uh, in Google's ecosystem, if I'm being honest. But that's not my problem to solve. I can tell you this feels like already it's going to be a pretty solid phone. Uh, again, we'll, we'll review it. I'll get back to you and let you know what I think uh, after maybe a week or two of using it. Uh, and then uh, we'll be on to more Pixel Fold type things at that point. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Head down there, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to ring the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos sort of like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.